Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I wish you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. There is English for grade 5 and we are learning unit number 5 and its title is Festivals in Pakistan. Yes, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it, or you can adjust it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. So, our today's lecture, my dear students and my dear teachers, lecture number two under the title of grammar, we will learn about punctuations. And we will cover a page, page number 40. There is question number eight. We are going to cover up that. Okay. So, before in English for grade three, my dear students, I hope you remember it. You have already learned about punctuation rules, capitalization. We have already learned. I hope you remember it. If you may not, so you can watch this video lecture again. So our today's students learning outcomes are, so which student learning outcomes we are going to cover up today, my dear students. Recall the rules of punctuation learned earlier. And the second one is, recognize and apply capitalization to the initial letter of the keywords in the titles of stories and books. So now we are going to get that how we can capitalize letter and where it is necessary to write capital letters, okay? So today we are going to get up that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, my dear teachers and my dear students, so listen carefully. Say, O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it has been revealed to me that a group of jinn listened to the Quran and said to their fellow jinn, Indeed, we have heard a wondrous recitation, Surah Al-Jin, verse number 1. Yes, my dear students and my dear teachers, this beautiful verse is telling us about the importance of recitation. When that beautiful book is being recited, how it acts and how it reacts on the soul of human beings, not even on human beings, not even on us, even on jinn. How? You know that we can we cannot see them. Jinn, we cannot see them. So these are abstract nouns. So in this way, this Quran also have a deep impact on jinns also. So when this is being recited, so we have to listen it carefully. So there is another my dear teachers and my dear students. Have you seen there? There is Okay, and there is another mark. These are called, there is also a punctuation mark that I am going to circle them. Okay, this is quotation mark and colon. This is full stop already we know. So, these marks are called punctuation marks because these marks clarify the sense of a sentence. So, okay, let's see. There is a brainstorming activity for you, my dear students. There is a an amazing activity so be quick and be ready for it see there there is an image for you see there so can you tell me that which is this mark and this one is also there is okay think about it and inform to your teacher okay then come back good excellent job i hope you have got it because mostly we are using such type of marks in our writing okay let's see which type of marks these are colon what is a colon a colon is a punctuation mark that is used to divide a sentence the colon has a variety of uses some of which include introducing a list introducing an explanation introducing a quote and connecting two related sentence colon my dear students what is a colon colon is a Punctuation mark, such type of mark is called colon, double dot, okay? And one is up and one is down in sequence. So, such type of mark is called colon. So, what is its use? See there, there is a variety of use of it, my dear students, in introducing a list, introducing an explanation, introducing a code. In this way, we can use a colon. See there, there I have segregated it. A list. How we can use a colon in a list? I need several things from the store. Eggs, 
milk and bread so how we can use see there there is the use of colon when we are going to explain and it always spoiled the previous sentence okay so let's see that i need several things from the store so which are several things there we have segregated by the use of comma egg milk and bread so in this way we can use a colon in a list next one a noun or a noun phrase the weapon to defeat the beast was something nobody expected what was that yes this is the kindness yes my dear teacher and my dear students there is a great message in this sentence also the weapon to defeat the beast was something nobody expected means kindness is a great weapon then we can get we can win the heart of even animals and which type of weapon that is kindness so there is also a use of colon and then explanation of previous sentence okay have you got next is quote how we can use a colon into a quote my dad my dad told me something i will never forget okay my dad told me something i'll never forget so which thing is that there is an column next sentence is relating to the previous sentence truthfulness our leads to success so yes my dear students this is a message for you also that when you are so truthful you have to speak truth at any cost so that truth will lead you towards success so have you got that how we have to use colon and why and how is the use of colon have you got my dear students good job let's see what is capitalization capitalization is the writing of a word with its first letter as an upper case and the remaining letters in lower case so have you got already from junior classes we are learning that capitalization when we have to get first letter capital when there are proper nouns we have to write first letter capitals name of months like when there is a specific thing we are going to describe then we have to write its first letter capital and mostly when there is a, a beginning of a sentence you can see that there also i have written first letter capital when we are writing a complete sentence then also we have to write its first letter capital see there there is like capitalization with m i n t s this is abbreviation my dear students which abbreviation you can see m for months so how we have to write it means even where we are using the name of months we have to capitalize its first letter my favorite month is september so can you judge s is capital next what is letter i the letter i bob and i ran down the hill have you just my dear students the one and only letter i is there in english alphabets that we have to write it capital either it is being used in the center of the sentence either it is being used it at the beginning of the sentence so keep remember we have to write it in capital form always we have to write it in capital form okay next and for names like people places things and which names proper names keep remember when names are these naming words are in proper names then we have to capitalize its first letters like frank has gone to visit his friend raj in orlando got it so there in this way and titles kelto's web is my favorite book is it clear and s means start of sentences we are going for a walk in the forest so have you got that in this way we can also you can remember there is a short abbreviation mints m i n t s mints m mean months i is a capital letter that we are using for us for a single person first person and n is for names proper names t is for titles and s is for sentence start of a sentence so have you got that where we have to capitalize first letters good so let's perform an activity okay there is a 
amazing activity for you my dear teachers so be ready get students into pairs so my dear teachers first you have to get your students into pairs give them tasks to find out punctuation marks from the unit that pair will find maximum marks will be the winner and encourage students while performing this activity there is a simple activity and it can be done easily in your classroom my dear teachers open your book english book and that unit unit number 5 is there so students have to search out punctuation marks that students will find out quickly so that will be winner and you have to get this work into pairs so pause the video and perform this activity in your class and i'm waiting for you welcome back and good job i hope now you have got that how we can use punctuation marks in our writing so there is homework for you so what's your homework you have to write in your notebook 10 sentences using capitalization rules learned in class that rules we have learned in class so that use of colon use of capitalization so you have to make 10 sentences in your notebook so this is my dear teachers this worksheet this worksheet link is given below so you can get it and you can distribute it into students among the students that we can get that how much knowledge they have got about punctuations so what we have learned today so we have learned today recall the rules of punctuation learned earlier recognize and apply capitalization to the initial letter of the keywords in the titles of stories and notebooks so excellent job that we have done with it my dear students we have got that how we can use punctuation marks in our writing in our essays and in our keywords so this was our today's lecture tomorrow with a new lecture see you soon inshallah till that thank you so much stay blessed allah